Sonnet seven by William Shakespeare. This is recorded to celebrate the seventh anniversary of LibriVox. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Lo, in the Orient, when the gracious light lifts up his burning head, each under eye doth homage to his new appearing sight, serving with looks his sacred majesty and having climbed the steep up heavenly hill resembling strong youth in his middle age yet mortal looks adore his beauty still attending on his golden pilgrimage but when from that highmost pitch with weary car like feeble age he reeleth from the day the eyes for duteous now converted are from his low tract and look another way so thou thyself outgoing in thy noon unlooked on diest unless thou get a son end of sonnet seven by william shakespeare sonnet seventeen by william shakespeare who will believe my verse in time to come if it were filled with your most high deserts though yet heaven knows it is but as a tomb which hides your life and shows not half your parts if i could write the beauty of your eyes and in fresh numbers number all your graces the age to come would say this poet lies such heavenly touches ne'er touched earthly faces so should my papers yellowed with their age be scorned like old men of less truth than tongue and your true rights be termed a poet's rage and stretched metre of an antique song but were some child of yours alive that time you should live twice in it and in my rhyme end of sonnet seventeen by william shakespeare recording by bob gonzales